before I get started, I, I want to thank you all for being here. This is really a momentous occasion, as you'll learn in, in just a few minutes. Uh, it's one of the proudest days I've ever had as a university president. I've been a president a long time, a, little, a long time before I came here, uh, and I think you'll, you'll see why in, in just a minute. I want to recognize some people here before we, uh, before we get started. I have, uh, first of all, a great team at UTRGV. I have the best group of vice presidents I've ever had, and we've got some deans here. If you're a UTRGV administrator, would you mind standing up and uh, let us give you a round of applause? Yeah. These are the people that make the university work, and they, they make me proud every day for the work they do. Um, another group of people I want to recognize, if you work for Bert Ogden, Fiesta, any of the dealerships that the backers own, would you mind standing up? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> These people have helped me so much in buying vehicles, I, I, and, <laughs> and they're very helpful. I, I, I want to thank all of you, not, not just for being here today, but for what you do in serving us in the Rio Grande Valley, so thank you. And we've got some politicians here. Judge, you want to stand up? If you're a politician, please, uh, or if, no, an elected official, an elected official, vote, yeah. They're successful. That's right, elected. Thank you so much. And I, I, think, I think we're going to make both of you proud, too. So anyway, uh, so in, anyway, we appreciate everything you're doing. Uh, I, I'm going to share details about, uh, about what this event is about in just a minute. But I'm going to take a moment of personal privilege here. They gave me the mic, so I guess I can pretty much say what I want to. What, what we're doing today is really more than anything about friendship. And so UTRGV was formed nine years ago, right? We opened our doors August 30th, 2015. Think about that. Uh, and, and we've accomplished a lot of things I'm very proud of. And uh, rankings now reflect what we've accomplished. And it's something we should all be proud of. But, but you know, you don't do that on your own. You need friends. You need people who believe in you who support you even when they don't are not completely sure what you're going to be. They, they have faith in you, right? Bob and Janet Vacker are those friends. And more than anything, what this day is about is about their friendship. When we needed it most, when we needed somebody to step up and have faith in us, when we were just beginning, just beginning, the Vackers did. They made their first big gift when we'd only been in operation four months. Within six months, another very large gift. In fact, we honored them by naming the College of Business after Bob, right? That friendship was the thing that got us started. Without their friendship, without their faith in us, none of this would have ever happened. So. More than anything, I want to thank you for your friendship and for your faith in us. It's meant so much to this university. We are where we are. Every time you read something good about us, remember, you had faith in us in the beginning, and that meant so much to us. So thank you so much for all of that. Their support really did give us instant credibility, and uh, credibility that, that I think people were very surprised at. It made a difference, and they've continued. They have continued to be the strongest and best supporters any university could ever ask for. And I'm thrilled and proud today to announce another gift of friendship. The Vackers, Bob and Janet, are currently gifting UTRGV Athletics, $20 million. Yeah. 
You heard that right. In recognition of their generosity, UTRGV is naming this stadium, the very place you're sitting right now, the Robert and Janet Vacker Stadium. Yeah. You know, on behalf of the entire UTRGV community, we want to extend our heartfelt gratitude, our deepest gratitude and thanks for, to Bob and Janet for uh, their unwavering dedication to this university and to our students. It's a, uh, this is really an enduring legacy. And so not only when you come to football games here, will you see that name all over the place, all over the stadium, and you'll understand how important they were, but your children and your grandchildren will see it. It'll be there for generations, so think about that. Uh, this is an enduring legacy to the Rio Grande Valley and to UTRGV. Uh, to speak more about what this gift means to our football program, let me introduce uh, uh, one of my great partners and uh, just one of the best ADs in the country, Chase Kahn. Well, thank you, Dr. Bailey. Um, what a celebration. What a day. Uh, what a milestone day this is uh, for our university, obviously, our athletics department, our football program, uh, and the entire Rio Grande Valley. Uh, usually I ask this of the, of the crowd, but I've got to ask this of the two most important people on this football field right now. Bob and Janet, are you ready for some UTRGV football? This, is, uh, this has been one tough secret to keep, uh, but we are so blessed to be able to celebrate uh, with the Vackers and everybody here today. Uh, it's, it's moments like these that simply, uh, thank you simply, just it, is, it isn't enough. Um, what you're doing for us is every adjective in the book. It's historic, it's transformative, uh, and it's certainly very, very exciting. This is going to set a new standard for UTRGV. It's going to set, set a new standard for our football program. Uh, and today it's going to send a message around the country uh, that we're on the rise and that we're serious about college football here in the Rio Grande Valley. Your support. <laughs> your support is a validator for us. Having you associated with our program, it, it truly legitimizes what we're doing. Uh, and it certainly will help us graduate champions uh, and the success of our student athletes. Uh, the impact that you're making on our young men, they're going to play right here on this field. It's going to define their experience as a Vaquero, and you're going to be able to touch so many lives through this investment. Uh, I can tell you it's going to help us attract some very talented student athletes from right here in the Rio Grande Valley, uh, and it's going to be able to help Coach Bush and his staff uh, be able to recruit some of the best and brightest student athletes uh, to compete right here at UTRGV. I can promise you this, we're going to work hard every day. We're going to work tirelessly to make you proud. Uh, our coaches, our staff, our administrators, our entire university community, uh, we know what this means. And you guys will motivate us each day to make sure that we deliver on the promise of this stadium, the Robert and Janet Vacker Stadium. We will, we will make you proud. We will make you proud. There's, there's no way we can repay you or thank you enough. Uh, but I was thinking, 
Coach Bush, I think winning a championship right here at Vacker Stadium would go a long way, huh? He, uh, he loves when I do that. He, he, really, he really does. Uh, but, but not only not only will you make an impact on the student athletes and, and the coaches and everybody involved in our department, uh, but think about the game day experience. Think about the people that are gonna come through the gates of this stadium. Uh, think about the students, our university community, the marching band, the spirit programs, uh, and think of the thousands of fans that are gonna come here on Saturdays in the fall. Uh, you guys are providing something for our community that we've been missing, and we're very grateful for that. We're already at 3,500 season ticket uh, holders, remarkable. Uh, I, told, I told Mr. Vacker before we walked on stage, I think we'll see that grow pretty quickly. So if you haven't put your deposit down, I encourage you to do that today. Uh, but it is already setting up for an unbelievable environment. It is going to be so much fun for our fans, our students, everybody involved. But I can tell you this, it's going to be one hell of a place to play for our opposing teams. And it's going to be difficult. Uh, and it's going to be special for our team to take the field here on August 30th of 2025. Uh, my family and I, we've been blessed to call the Rio Grande Valley home for about five years. And, uh, and it didn't take us long to realize the, the impact that the Vackers have had on our community. Uh, what they have done for us, we are all indebted to you. Uh, the quality of life that you've brought and that you've given back to here in the Valley uh, is truly special. Uh, and today is yet another example of your giving spirit, uh, your passion for people, your love of the Rio Grande Valley, and your belief and investment in us so UTRGV can be one of the most successful institutions in the country. And for that, we're very grateful. So again, on behalf of all of our student athletes, our coaches, we have so many of our coaches here today, uh, the young men and women that you're gonna impact with this investment from the bottom of our hearts, thank you. And you both are simply the best. So now it's my privilege to uh, welcome to the podium one of my closest colleagues and friends. And I think we would all agree that she is one of the best at what she does. And what she does is pair passion, philanthropy, and a donor's vision uh, with purpose to help UTRGV elevate every area across the institution. So please help me welcome my friend and colleague, Executive Vice President for Institutional Advancement, Dr. Kelly Nassour. Good morning. It is with immense gratitude and excitement that I express my heartfelt appreciation for a truly extraordinary act of generosity. This remarkable contribution is not merely a sum of money. It is a profound investment in the future of our institution, our community, and the countless students who will benefit from this gift. This naming is a testament to the legacy of Bob and Janet and a reminder to all who enter these gates of the impact that the commitment can have on the world around them. Bob and Janet, we extend our deepest gratitude. Your belief in our mission, your unwavering support, and your incredible generosity has not only made this dream a reality, but you have paved the way for future generations to thrive and excel. Your contribution will forever be etched in the fabric of our institution, inspiring us to reach new heights and empowering us to continue making a difference in the lives of our students. Thank you doesn't seem to be enough to say. How do you thank a gift that will transform not only our university, but our entire region? I want to take a moment to reflect on the power of philanthropy, the strength of our community, and the boundless possibilities that lie ahead. Together, and with the VACR support, we have the opportunity to shape a future filled with promise, purpose, and endless potential. Thank you, Bob and Janet, for your trust and for believing in the power of creating a legacy. Now it is my privilege to introduce my friend and colleague, Natasha Del Barrio, CEO of Bird Ogden Auto Group, she is a terrific partner and colleague and supporter of all of us on stage, of the entire university, and all of the Bird Ogden Auto Group. Natasha.
Did you guys see Chase's socks? I mean, this guy is a true blue flan. There's footballs on his socks. So, uh, so he'll be handing those out at the end of this conference too. Just kidding, just kidding. Um, it is my privilege to get to stand here and be associated with the Bird Ogden Auto Group. And I've always said that one of the, the best things about this job is the opportunity to be involved with a company who does so much for the community, who cares so much about this community. This is home and, uh, and they really show it and they show it um, all the time. And there's many people that can, but the backers actually do. And it's a testament to who they are as individuals. And no different than the naming of the College of Business, this is an incredibly uh, special moment for me as I think about who the backers are because we all associate them with being this amazing uh, powerhouse duo that have set up an amazing empire of car dealerships and Janet has captured the hearts of the valley. Um, and that is such a huge part of who they are, but there is so much more and they are, the biggest champions of education I've ever met in my life. Um, I don't. I don't think I got a choice. You know, it was not a choice whether or not I was going to college. I've been with them since I was 15 years old, and then then I thought I had arrived once I got my undergraduate degree. And uh, I think there might have been like a half smirk on Bob's face. And then the next question was, when are you going back for your MBA? Right. And so that was a, a great. Um, that was a great support and encouragement, and it just shows how much this means for them. And they're such visionaries in our community, and I pick on Bob all the time about some of this weird, obscure land that we go out and buy, and you know, it's in an odd place, and we may sit on it for 20 years, and then it's in exactly the right place. So truly visionaries for our community, and this is another one of those moments to um, expand an enduring legacy, not only of being amazing automotive dealers, but true philanthropists that love this area and value education and can see so far beyond even football. You know, I mean, I remember growing up and thinking, gosh, there's nothing to do here. Well, there is plenty to do here now. And you think about all of the young people that are going to be retained and attracted to this community, all the new businesses that are going to come in to serve them, the new opportunities and events and venues and commerce, and it's just so much. It is so much more than football. It is a, a development and a growth of our entire community. So it is my privilege and my honor to thank you both for your generosity and your vision and to welcome Bob and Janet Backer. today but I'm here <laughs> oh I mean we are so thrilled um, you know entering the RGV and the first place you see is Edinburgh Texas and what a beautiful job we've all done here it's just amazing the growth and what's happening here and it is the all-american city and Bob and I couldn't be more proud he he was born um, in Gonzales, Texas, but raised in Edinburgh alongside his father in the lumber business. And not too far down the road was my father with his first business on 9th and um, University Drive. And we would not be standing here today if it wasn't for the faculty and the students that supported my father enough that he could build his own dealership on 281. And it's because of the support from the Pan American College. I never forget that. And so that, that's really special. Uh, Bob's dad was an entrepreneur just like mine. And they started and they were very successful. And I do have to say that his father did a good job on you because he's very tough. <laughs> but he knows what he's doing and he's always pretty much right. Um, could we ask for a better president of the university? Um, he's a remarkable, uh, you used the term game changer, but that's you. You had a vision the moment you touched down. 
on the RGV. And he knew what he wanted, and we were right there with him because he excited us that I couldn't believe all the opportunities and what he was talking about. And we just kept saying, this is awesome. And with your smarts, I say, Bob wanted to give to the business school. And that made me so excited that the children that growing up don't have to go out of town to go to a good university. This one is first class, top in the nation. We were ranked one in the state. One in the state. It's amazing. And so when this opportunity came up, football, we were thrilled because you know why? We've got our very own Travis. <laughs> and he's good looking to stand up. <laughs> yes, you have to. Now, you're not going to be shy. Here's the football coach. Do I have to get out and, and rule the team there? Get up here. Come on. Check him out. Why aren't you up here? And where is your orange? Can he buy your socks? Anybody got some orange for Travis? Oh, he's running home. We love him. He's going to be amazing. And I love that he's humble. Where'd you go? Oh. I'm here. Yes, ma'am. Yes, <laughs> yes ma'am. He's scared of me. No. <laughs> thank y'all so much. Yeah. We really appreciate it, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Here you go. There we go. Here you go. All right. I love it. Bob, go ahead. I'm taking over. <laughs> Remember, I was right there on that. So the stadium had to go first. When we were Are talking you? the other day, Janice says, I'm going to speak first. And that's all she said. So I said, fine. <laughs> But you know, the, uh, when, she, when you talk about Edinburgh, and it does have a sentimental place in my heart. I grew up about four blocks from here, right over here on 8th Street. And uh, my mother and father were divorced at a young, my young age. I was probably eight or 10 years old. And my sister was cheerleader at Edinburgh High School. There was only one high school. And we decided we wanted to stay, stay down here. My dad raised us, you know, single father. And that's back in the late 40s, you know, early 50s. That's unheard of. And uh, Susan, my sister, went on to graduate from Pan American, and she was homecoming queen, head cheerleader. She was very successful and taught school for many, many years. She's now deceased. But my dad I had a little bit of trouble with me, and uh, <laughs> you know, I, I believe that. I'm not going to be shy about it, but I, I'm a product of Edinburgh, Texas. And uh, when, when I was in school in high school, I spent a lot of time, Homer Morris, you'll see his name on the middle school over on uh, Trenton. Tr he was our high school principal. And I spent a lot of time in his office. And Ted, <laughs> uh, Ted Hinojosa was assistant principal. Johnny Economides, you see his name on the high school ladder. Johnny and I became uh, really good friends. All the people in Edinburgh, uh, Nix Harrington, who the West Univer University was named after Nix Harrington at one time. It changed the name to university. And my dad took me out of school and when I was in high school and he said, you're going to go to work. He bought a lumberyard back from John McKinney back to Lumber and Supply on Cano Street. And so he said, you're going to come out of school. You're not going to mess around after school. You're, not, you're coming to work. So I'd get out of school at around 1231. I'd go straight to the lumberyard and work. And my dad, had he, he always worked it like on Saturday, the cement trucks came in on Saturday, insulation came in on Saturday, after every day, whatever was tough, he wanted it to happen when I was there. <laughs> but Dr. Bailey, I unloaded box cars over where the University at Railroad Track by the I, chamber I in Edinburgh. Yeah. We used to get box cars, a lumber come in there, and I'd be unloading those box cars. Well, it used to be the football stadium, then the high school, what is now the administration building. And I'd look across there, and it, all that was was cotton, uh, Cornfields. There was no university out there. Pan Am was just two little small buildings. And what a job that the, the city and the state have done. What a job you've done now. What, yes. The ninth largest university in the state of Texas. That's phenomenal. Yeah. So, and, you know, believe, believe it or not, when I go over to the university, if we're on uh, uh, West University, they're going across those railroad tracks, you know where they are. I start sweating and I shake it. <laughs> and, and, 
and it's not, it's not because of the college. I look down that rural track and I can remember unloading those boxcars <laughs> in 105 degree heat. But that was when I decided education was the best thing. And, and you know, and when I, when I went to high school in Edinburgh, a lot of young people didn't go off to college. The opportunity just was not you know, made available. And my dad, my stepmother, uh, graduated from Pan Am. She was a school teacher in the Edinburgh system for 35 years. Jefferson, right? Jeff yeah, yeah, Jefferson Elementary. And they sat me down, or the, sat me down. <laughs> Homer Morris sat me down, the principal of the school. And if you ever remember Tony Guerrero, you may know, he was a golf coach at Pan Am. Tony was one of my best friends. He taught me to play golf from about age of six or seven. He was a 1955 graduate of Texas a and University. And one of the first Hispanics at that time to graduate from A&M, and he was a golf coach here in Edinburgh in the old Ebony Hills Country Club, and we lived right down the road there. And Tony took me, every time I'd get off work, I'd go out and Tony would give me golf lessons. And Tony worked on me and worked on me about going to college, and so did Mr. Morris. You don't have that today, you, you don't have time. Educators don't have that time, and people don't have that time to take some young man, you know, un under their, and groom them and try to do something for them. And that's what I try to do more and more when I talk to students. It's amazing how many students, you know, you talk to, and they look at that impression you make on them. And then when I look at why, why did I do this, what makes me want to do it, what makes you want to be successful, my dad would take me down to the lumberyard from about this, this high, the first national bank in Edinburgh, right? The building's still there, it's Plains Capital now. And in the mornings we'd have coffee, it would be, It'd be the uh, county judge, Joe B. Joe B. Evans would be in there, Nix Harrington, uh, Ernest Johnson, who was president of the bank, all these business people. And I was this little kid sitting there, and I'd listen to them talk about business and things. And every, they all talked to me. They all said, hey, this is what you need to do. And, and the influence that those people had on my life is probably one of the only reasons I ever went to college. But you have to thank those people. And in thanking them, you know, I look back at what we're doing with the college. And I just believe it's a thing to do, and I'm so happy. We have, I don't know, over 100 college graduates from the UTRG working yeah. for us now. Working for us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have Ta Tasha, who's our CEO, that came on board, and, and she's got her MBA. And uh, she's, she's now taken over, I guess. And... <laughs> My, yeah, my wife, my wife asked me last week, what are you going to do when Tasha doesn't need you anymore? Oh, that hurts. Uh, you know, I think, I think they're phasing me out. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's remarkable. We just hired Stephanie Garcia has come on board. She's a graduate of UTRGV. Yeah. That's her, her PhD from Lamar University. Uh, Jorge Gutierrez, his, our statistician, MBA from UTRGV. We have a hundred graduates, over a hundred graduates from UTRGV. I think we have six, I might be wrong on that, six MBAs from UTRGV. And just, they do a phenomenal job. And I was telling Dr. Bailey, I used to recruit on college campuses nationwide. And I can tell you I re that no one, no graduates, no students I've ever interviewed have made an impact on me or have made an impression on me like the graduates from UTRGV. Mm -hmm. I'm so impressed. Yeah. Uh, Ma Maria Bravo's here. Where's Ma Maria? Maria is our controller. She's an MBA from the UTRGV. So I want to thank each and every, every one of you. We're so, we're so blessed and so fortunate to be part of this university. And Dr. Bailey has been such a good friend to us. And, uh, yeah. we, we, had, we had dinner, you all may understand this, I don't, but we had dinner at the Country Club in 2016, oh, Dr. Yeah. Bailey and Janet uh, Mac Brown from the University of Texas and then uh, Oliver uh, Luck, who is now involved. And so Dr. Bailey's sitting here, and, I, and then Mac Brown, and I'm sitting here, and then Janet, and, and we're laughing and talking, and Mac Brown would go slap me on the leg like this about 10 times. And so later, and she, Janet, after dinner, she says, is, is, that, is he okay? I said, that, that's football. That's, why, that's just football. You know, that, Those are big slaps. Yeah, and, but I think uh, the impression that you made on them and, and what they've done, and that was, what, eight, 2016, I've never discussed it. 
because you know mom was the word and it, it, you've done a remarkable job yes. putting thank all this you. together you're thank you you were you were at the beginning the very beginning yes. of the planning of this yeah. that's right every that's meeting that's yeah. right so it, it was travis i get i got some tough news for travis oh. uh, uh travis isn't I'm, he adorable yeah. <laughs> I didn't know Travis was bashful, but anyway. Uh, Travis, I'm up. Uh, Get ready for a ride, because with me around, he's yeah. going to be hot. Yeah. <laughs> so. Look at that picture. <laughs> Here's some orange. <laughs> oh, and I have one other thing. Vaquero at Backer Stadium. Who yeah. would have thought? Yeah. Uh, Travis. Travis, I was thinking last night, I'm getting a little bit older, so you've got about 15 years to win a national championship. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Perfect. But I was reading an article yesterday in a paper, and I quote, in a quote in there was that a gentleman said, I have one life and one chance to make it count, to count for something. And I read that, and it made an impression on me. And I hope what we're doing, and I think it is, doing with the, both doing with the university, uh, Rio Grande, Texas, Rio Grande Valley, I think we're doing the right thing and it's making a major impression on the valley and the quality of life for the young people down here, giving them the opportunity to go to school down here and giving them the, the uh, advantage of staying down here. And I think that's what this program will do. You will graduate the young people and they'll stay down here and go to work. So yes. thank you. my lipstick off on that round. <laughs> you don't need to be shy around here. No. All right. Yeah. We're going to have fun. Come on, Andy. Come Let me, on. I didn't give credit to, I want to give credit to Tasha. I want to give credit to Tasha. She is, her and Kelly have developed a great relationship, and it wasn't for those two started putting these things together with the business school and the stadium and everything, the two working together, it's been great for us. So thank are both of you. We're doing all kinds of fun things. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to be, yeah, we've got a lot of great things. And by the way, I think we're, we're starting out with a championship trophy right here. <laughs> Unlike the folks at Alabama that time, I'm not going to drop it and scatter <laughs> the trophy. It's a, this belongs to, to me. So, so when I moved to the Rio Grande Valley in 2014, it's been almost 10 years now, I saw Janet Vacker all over TV. I, I thought at first that's some TV star down here. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, you remember, it, she would, everybody knows her and knew her face from 
commercials. Remember that? So, but I, I soon learned that the Vackers were the best friends anyone could ever have. They have been the best friends this university could ever want. Without them, we wouldn't be where we are. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for everything you've done. We look forward to having you here at that first game. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, all of you will enjoy it. Uh, this is going to conclude our ceremony, but we have refreshments on the way out. So please participate, stay around, enjoy yourselves. And uh, t-shirts with the stadium logo. Oh, and we have t-shirts with the stadium logo. They did, <laughs> they did make it, yeah. <laughs> It was tight, but they got here. So please enjoy yourselves. Every time you drive by this stadium, remember Bob and Janet and the legacy they're leaving. So thanks so much. <laughs>